What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new iPad Mini 4. And this was announced at the same time as the iPad Pro, but they didn't spend a whole lot of time on it, they just swept it underneath the rug. But I'm not quite sure why, because this is a pretty significant upgrade from the last generation. So they start at $399 as usual, and I ended up getting the 16GB model as the base, but I would not suggest it, spend $100 more and get the 64GB model. So let's go ahead and open this and see what comes inside the box. The iPad Mini 4 is available in several different colors, but of course Space Gray is my favorite, so I ended up picking that. It's got some frosted plastic on there. And let's see what's inside of the box here. You lift the packet, you get the lightning cord right here. This is very typical of any iOS device right now. And you get some documentation here with a quick start guide, and then you get the 10 watt power adapter. So let's go ahead and take that frosted protective plastic off of there. And the first thing that I noticed right away when I unbox this is this is much lighter and it is much thinner, especially in the hand. So if you want to know what's different about this compared to the previous iPad mini, let's go ahead and take a look at all the differences first. On the back of the iPad mini 4, you do get a brand new sensor this year. You get an 8 megapixel camera up from the 5 megapixel camera on the iPad mini 3. And even on the front, you do get a new camera as well. It is a little bit upgraded, but it still shoots 720p video. Yep, 720p. Gross. But when it comes to the new updated design, it looks more like the iPad Air 2. You can see things are a little bit more tapered and the volume rocker switch is inside of an indentation. And you can see that the mic placements are a little bit different on the opposite sides of the camera here. But this is basically just an adjustment to all of the new iOS devices, as you can see on the speaker grill, just a more updated design to kind of catch it up to the rest of the iOS devices. And like I said earlier, it is definitely thinner and is significantly lighter, so it does make a difference when you feel it in the hand. Not everything got smaller though, actually the new iPad Mini 4 is a little bit taller than the previous generation. I just thought I'd throw that in. So overall this is not a huge drastic design change, but definitely a welcome design change for the iPad Mini. Processor wise we get a new one this year as well, you get the A8 processor instead of the A7 that was in the previous generation, but you do not get the A8X that was a tri-core processor that was in the iPad Air 2, which I really wish that was in this one, but you can see that the performance here is not really significantly better than the A7, but it does have some improvements here. So here is the benchmark from the iPad Air 2, so you can see that the iPad Air 2 is significantly faster than this iPad mini 4. But I wouldn't worry about performance when it comes to the iPad mini 4 because it looks like it benches right next to the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. The most important thing here I think besides the processor is that it gains 2 gigabytes of RAM. So this is really huge because when it comes to split screen multitasking, this iPad is supported. So slide over is supported in the other previous iPad models, but split screen multitasking is only supported on iPads that have 2 gigabytes of RAM. So you can see here that you can slide right over and do true split screen multitasking and it works flawlessly on the new iPad mini 4. This means you can enjoy all of the iOS 9 features with no issues like picture in picture and you also have the smooth multitasking here. So with the 2 gigabytes of RAM, I noticed that it's much smoother in performance than the previous iPad mini. Some of the notable features are the improved Siri and Siri commands and you also have new search tabs here and also with suggested places and suggested news. But if you want to know everything about iOS 9 and what's new, I made a separate video for that and I'm going to link that in the description section below so you can check out what's new in iOS 9. I was really hoping to get Touch ID 2.0 on this, but it did not get the upgraded fingerprint scanner, but it works just as good as it did on the previous model, and you do have support for Apple Pay, so you can pay directly from your tablet. For me personally, I think the biggest reason to upgrade to the iPad Mini 4 is because of the new laminated display, which means the air gap is now gone in between the glass panel and the display itself, and that makes for much better color replication, much better contrast, and everything just looks like it's more up front, and it just looks so much better, and you can significantly tell the difference. And it also reduces glare, and you can really see that when you're looking at this iPad outside or in reflective areas. 
this is the same screen process that's on the iPad Air 2. So if you've used that before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So gaming, web browsing, all of that just looks so much better because that's what the iPad is for, for media consumption. Yeah, yeah, some people use it for productivity, but I know that I don't. But when it comes to gaming though, the performance is absolutely fantastic on this. Any graphically intensive game is gonna play without an issue here on the iPad mini 4. I didn't notice any significant heat or any kind of overheating when I was playing these games either. And the battery life for me did not get affected on this new iPad because the iPad actually has a smaller battery this time than the previous generation, but I found the battery life to be exactly the same as the iPad mini prior. There's one more big improvement here on the iPad mini 4, which is the new 8 megapixel sensor. This has an f2.4 aperture. I think this is the same sensor that was in the iPad Air 2. And it also features burst mode this time, which is really nice, and also slow motion recording. And this is probably the best tablet camera that I've seen so far. I mean, it's really got some nice crisp images here. Yeah, it tends to overexpose some, and really, you shouldn't be taking a lot of pictures with your iPad anyway. But what's most most impressive is some of the low light pictures here. You can see this actually passes pretty well for low light images. The 1080p video is actually very usable as well. You do get some digital stabilization here, no optical image stabilization, but it's also very usable. It's pretty clean. And you also have the ability to have slow motion video. So even though this is not a necessity, it's really nice that they added this in. So the real question is, should you buy this new iPad mini 4? Well, I guess it all really depends because if you don't have an iPad mini already and you're looking for a compact iPad, then I say this is a no brainer. You should definitely buy one. Now, if you have an iPad mini 3, then this is something to think about because you're not gonna get a huge leap in processing here and most of the features are already here, but the only thing that you're gonna want, I think, out of this package is the new laminated display, the updated design, and it feels much nicer in the hand and also much lighter in the hand, and you're also getting the split-screen multitasking with two gigabytes of RAM. And I guess if you are into taking pictures with your iPad, then that eight megapixel sensor is also a big deal. Overall though, I think this is a nice upgrade package to the iPad mini line. So I think if you were to purchase one of these, I don't think that you'll be disappointed. So let me know what you guys think about the new iPad mini 4. Will you be upgrading? And if you have any questions, make sure you follow me on all of my social networks that I leave below and you can ask me any questions there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome content like this and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.